Hey everyone, today we are going to record the piano on the, um, the worship song, I Surrender All, or the worship hymn that we're creating on this uh, little thing that I'm doing here. Um, so we've charted out, we've arranged, we went over that in the last video. I have decided to do three verses, um, you know, not to leave any verse out, but we're going to do three. And, um, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a tag here. So, um, I'm going, I use Logic, um, and I've got a little preamp, it's called a Babyface Pro, but a lot of people use Scarlet's, and you're going to need some sort of interface and preamp or converter or whatever, um, and if you don't understand what that is, uh, look up interface and, you know, spend a few hundred dollars on that. Um, so, let's go over here to Logic, and um, I'm going to act like I'm starting from the beginning here. So, I've got one track here, but let me delete it and act like, okay, so I'm going to select a software instrument. There's different ways to do this, but this is how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to go find a piano sound. We're using MIDI, so I've got that connected to this keyboard right here. As you can hear, there's, right now, there's drums connected to it. <laughs> but we're going to connect a piano to it real quick. Um, so I use Native Instruments, but not one of their pianos, it just their player. You, runs it and um, it's called Pearl Grand and uh, Contact Player runs it, his company makes it. I really like it, it sounds like a C7, you know, it's kind of my go-to piano sound that I love hearing. Okay, so let's, um, let's record this. Um, we got 130 on the BPM. We're going to try it there. We got 4 4 time. That's correct. I've turned off this little guy. It just counts you in. I actually want space because we're going to make stems out of this eventually um, if it comes out good. So it should. Um, and uh, so we're going to lay this down to a metronome. Um, but another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, for feel, I don't have to but I'm gonna lay this down to a drum loop. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna duplicate this track, but this little button right here, and that's gonna give me another piano, but um, I'm gonna do drums. So we're gonna go over here and down here to AU Instruments, cause, and I use, um, for something quick like this, I'm going to use um, Tune Track Easy Drummer. These things just sound like they're mixed pretty much, and they're a good, just quick thing you can see here. Um, and then I have those attached to a key. Here's kick drum, here's snare, and this just comes out like this. Um, you can route on different, but this is just hot closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, cymbals, toms right here. So it's down here on this end of the keyboard C. Alright, so I want one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, kick and snare, and one, two, three, four, then hi-hat. One, two, so this is going to hit all the quarter notes. One, two, three, four, closed hi-hat. One, two, three, four, and this is going to hit one and three. So let's lay this down. Um, I'm going to make a little C. So one, two, three, four. Da -da -da. All right, so I did that for a couple measures, and I didn't hit that again. So now I'm going to go over piano roll, these little scissors up here in Logic, and if you use a different DAW, that's fine, if you use, and I'm going, I wasn't perfectly on timing, and I want to set this to good time, because I'm going to play it to that, and the metronome will be in there too, but, so I'm going to, if I go over here, I can say, go to the nearest 16th note, and if I was close enough to the right 16th note, which at the beginning when I first started doing this, I probably wasn't, my timing wasn't real good, it, I can highlight everything like this, or I can highlight one, and I'll snap it to grid. And if not, you can move it around like this. All right. Now, once all that's perfectly lined up, I can highlight this, and then on my keyboard, I can press Command-R, and it just goes nuts, and I just hold it down forever long. It's still going. You can't see it on the screen, but if we were to close it in up here, this little slider, you see that we got a ton. Um, let's do a little more. I don't know how long this is going to last. We can always delete it later. Um, all right, cool. So I'm going to 
make this back up here. We're going to go back up to, I want to label piano, and then drums. Okay. There we go. I'm going to put drums up here at the top. Just drag and drop those. Piano. All right, we're going to press record on that. And that is enabling this MIDI piano right here. All right. So it's not mixed or anything, it's just flat. So if you remember, we did that lick, we went. All right, so I'm just gonna lay three verses down of this in a tag, I decided. Then I just go to that suspended again, and then real slow. like that, okay? So, um, I'm not perfect on this, probably. I, um, so I'm gonna follow this chart right here. I'm gonna play it three times through, and I even got a little tag written out. And um, we're going to do this. That way, I've written it out. You know, it was yesterday when I did the other. And uh, today, I don't have to worry about it. So let me see what we got.
also going on. Okay, so I'm going to delete some of this loop here when it kind of started slowing down. And I'll continue to play that loop, and then when I get done, I'll go back and actually lay more of the feel of the drums, because that's just too big and too consistent. But um, that is what I'm doing. So, yeah, there is some licks in the third verse. I decided you don't have to do those, but I decided to do that, and I was just playing around the chords. And um, next video, we'll go over a lesson, and we'll talk about options um, for the piano, or... There will be a lesson. I don't know if it's the next video or not. We may lay everything down and then go back over and talk about, you know, how, how we played everything and the concept of it. I didn't even know what I was going to play. I was just playing around with chords. Like, I made those melodies. I was making up other melodies, and we'll talk about that in a lesson. But we've got a drum loop. We've got a piano. And, um, you know, that's, that's where we're at with that. Next, uh, I'll probably lay the bass guitar down, the rhythm guitar, and I'll keep the drums really super on timing. It's fun to have all the players play together and stuff, but it's just not always feasible, especially when you're doing it all. But as long as if you quantize, you know, snap all that to the grid, um, you know, when you can, like I, I hit one little boo boo in there. <laughs> I can't remember where it's at, but you can you can press these scissors up here and go to piano roll and highlight piano here because that's what I had, and you can see all the notes that I played. And if there's something a little off. You know, that's the cool part about MIDI. You can't do that with real stuff. And be on time, don't, you know, but you can always snap things a little bit to the grid if you were a little off. I played it pretty on, but I think there was, I'll find a little key where I hit something fat or something and I can just delete it rather than have to re-record it, so. Okay, so there is uh, how I lay down piano and I start the song. I had the um, licks and, um, you know, the, the band licks and everything and, um, We'll see you in the next video where we lay down the bass guitar.